leaving Princeton, heading towards Merritt. Um, I was up in Princeton Rodeo today, so it didn't go very well. <laughs> um, I guess today I'm going to talk about fighting your head. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically what happened is a horse is pretty little and um, looking back I should have hobbled my back cinch. So, when I mean, the horses are real small, oftentimes there's no like, uh, like on most horses there's like the belly and then there's kind of a V and then it goes up. And you usually put the back cinch like behind that, that sort of V part. But on a smaller horse, uh, I mean, it oftentimes just like go up on an angle and you don't have that point to like um, set the back cinch, um, which also helps it from going forward. But on these little horses, your back cinch will um, oftentimes, like the one I had, as you're pulling it up, it just goes right into the flank area where they put the flank. And then you don't have uh, anything to tighten up because <laughs> it's not meant to go there. So I didn't kind of realize that. Maybe a little bit of a rookie mistake, which is kind of embarrassing. But um, at the same time, we all make mistakes. So. Um, yeah, when I pulled it up, it kept going in the flank, and I pulled it as much as I could, but uh, it was not tight. So, um, horse come out, and then kind of like rolled a bit, and then my the saddle slipped on the back end, came up and went to the right, and then I was sitting on the right because I couldn't really right myself, and the horse felt me, and then drifted off to the left. So yeah, so that sucked <laughs> big time. Um, originally, I'm like about fighting your head I'm like what the you know what the hell did I do that I'm like what's wrong with me um, you know I'm getting off center um, my ride before I kind of realized I'd gotten off center and then I righted myself um, but this time I was off completely the other side and I'm like this is not right because if I offset myself it's because my hips are getting shifted and my riding arm so when you're lifting, if anything, you're going to go onto the side you're lifting on. So uh, for me to be on the right side is a little weird. And then I talked to a friend of mine and he said that my saddle was tipping up on the back. Right? So uh, a saddle on a narrow horse is wishy-washy. Uh, obviously, it doesn't really, uh, yeah, it doesn't, isn't very, uh, it's a difficult to ride. <laughs> so yeah, so that wasn't cool. And then, like I said, my um, my mind wants to tell me I'm not worthy and I'm like, I suck. Um, you know, it's like, should I be entering these pro reviews, right? Should I, you know, all this stuff, right? What am I doing wrong? What do I, you know, you start nitpicking it. And in reality, like, I've been riding for forever. <laughs> And it's there, you know. Some shitty stuff happens sometimes, and uh, sometimes you're not on your game. And I have been riding good, and I have been really happy with it. But I think it's just because the combination of me being run down, and um, yeah, I'm getting run down, I'm getting tired. Now my negative self-talk and my that old Kayla that I didn't really like. <laughs> That's been such a big part of my life for such a long time. He wants to creep back in and tell me, basically, I'm a worthless piece of shit. So, um, yeah. So that's not cool. I recognize it, but it's still, sometimes it's hard to let it go. Um, yeah. You know, and then it gets to question you, like, should I still be riding frogs? Am I good enough to be riding frogs? And all this other shit. Even though, like, I feel it's there and I have been going after them and I have been happy for the most part about how this has started and um, yeah today was just another day and it didn't work out as planned but you have to refocus and um, refocus on the next right uh, the, the past the past um, I still have this lingering right it's like trying to like drag me down and in a sense, it's, it's like what happens to me when I get, um, go through my depression. Um, 
just like constantly trying to like drag me down into the dark and like beat myself up mentally about yeah how I'm not good enough and shit like that so anyways it's not cool <laughs> it's not cool I was like until I figured out kind of what we're wrong I was like you know um yeah I was like I'm just gonna turn out I'm just gonna stay home I'm just you know I'm like no Kayla you you know one ride can turn it around and it's not even that it's going that bad it's just uh, it's sh a shitty deal today right and um yeah so anyways I just thought I'd do this post so you guys all know I mean I'm sure there's people there's people out there or maybe you're listening that you know you're not alone <laughs> if you fight your head about something and it's silly to like kind of one thing change your whole mind about everything, right? Um, I've done this for too long and I've gone through this too much. I don't want this being part of my ride anymore where I'm, you know, where I'm mad, where I'm, I'm not enjoying it and I'm not having fun. Um, so I have to like get rid of this attitude and refocus for the next. if I'm like mad I wouldn't say I'm mad I'm just like disappointed probably um, but it's not to the extent that I I used to bring you know put it right so I guess that part I can look at as being good um, so yeah so I just figured I'd share with you um, yeah kind of what what goes through my mind even like, you know, get nitpicking. Well, what went wrong? Well, I should have done this or should have done that. Or maybe I shouldn't have thought about this. Or maybe I should switch trying arms. And then, you know, it's just like, gets a bit ridiculous, really. When you know, like, two rides ago, I had a really good ride. Um, no, that was three rides ago. Like, the best ride I've had this year in Jet One. And everything felt really good. And it was on a good horse. So, um, yeah stupid to change it if it feels right on a good horse so I'm not saying these other horses aren't good I'm just the horse I, I got on today just fell me to the one side and just buggered off and yeah I didn't have a very good trip and the horse before was a bit unpredictable because it was a um, it was a colt so it is only his third trip out so you don't really know what this trip is going to be not saying like you always know what horses trips are I mean they're pretty predictable um, once they get a set pattern but um, they're still not always totally predictable so yeah um, such is the life of a bronc rider I have to remind myself why I'm doing this because it stays like this and I'm like oh, maybe you should wrap it up Kila even though you've heard all of this talk, me talking about, ah, oh, it's going good, oh yeah, and then one day, and like, oh, it's totally turned around, right? So, um, that's how your mind plays games with you. <laughs> but if you let it get the better of you, you, and you listen to it, then that's what you are. That's what, that's what you will continue to focus on, is on how you're a worthless piece of shit. I know better, so I don't need to do that to myself. I've had years of doing that to myself. Um, yeah. So anyways, pick up and move on. I've got a little while now. Ooh, the next rodeo is in Innisfail this Saturday, and then um, I don't have anything until the following week. slacking sometimes going to some of these uh, smaller birdies or amateur birdies you don't have as many guys riding right it's a little easier to make checks it's a little easier you just gotta stay on right well I mean in a sense sometimes that's all you have to do um, I 
don't enjoy, I enjoy them just as much, but I, I, um, yeah, it's not really where I want to be riding wise, so, um, I gotta have my game, and it's there, and if I push myself, um, I have been there before, and I can be there again. At least that's what I must believe if I continue to do this, right? Otherwise, why am I even going? So, um, yeah, this, uh, this is my self-talk here. <laughs> hmm. But anyways, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Um, anytime you get the negative self-chatter, try to... Um, figure out why that's happening and find a way of refocusing it because it's it's not valid <laughs> I mean you can look at negative stuff but you gotta like um, take what you can from that and then figure out also like what was good about it or what are you gonna refocus on for next time because um, obviously um, you can't continue to ride being negative, right? Uh, I mean, you can, in a certain sense, use that as fuel to, like, drive you, but then I know for me in the past, it's the more I used it as fuel to drive myself, and um, I really, it didn't matter how good I did, I didn't have any fun, I didn't enjoy any of it, you know, and if you're going to do something, you do it because you love it, and you want to do it, and you, um, yeah, it's not a good good place to be in. So that being said, I'm done with this talk, but I thought it was um, I thought it was something you guys needed to hear. This the headspace I'm in, and even as you can see, like I'm I'm still not totally over it. I gotta let it go. So I'll figure out how to let it go. And it's really annoying how this thing goes blurry in and out. I'm not really sure why, but I guess because probably I'm 